Welcome back. We are going to look at the March in G major by J.S. Bach now, and we're going to look at some of the position changes in the right hand and walk through those very slowly so you get a kind of conception of what's happening in the, uh, in the piece from a technical standpoint. So um, let's look first at the fifth measure of the piece and we're going to start on the uh, the downbeat of that uh, which is a B a staccato B but the real phrase which is under the slur that long curved line over the notes over several measures is really what we're going to be focusing on so basically what we're going to do is uh, walk through each slight hand position change a few times so that you can see how that will work in the right hand. So here we go. Starting on measure five, it's very slowly. We'll play the second finger staccato, kind of bouncy or detached. And then we're going to have our thumb set up on G already and we'll play the G. And then with the second finger, we'll play the B again, but in a connected manner. Then we'll play a D, and you can see my finger, third finger is already on the D. And then the fifth finger, the pinky, is already in place above the G. So you'll play that. That's a G major arpeggio. It's the notes of a G chord. So once again, starting from the first beat, that B detached or staccato, and then G with the first finger, B with the second finger, D with the third finger, and then fifth finger, pinky, with the, uh, on the G. Now, while you're playing that, your thumb will move up and position itself over the D. Okay, so it will look like this. You're get, going to prepare for the next position change. It'll be like this. B, G, B, D, G. Did you see how my thumb already moved to the D. Now the next position change will be in this kind of a shape. You'll have your thumb on D, your third finger on G, your fourth finger on A, and then your fifth finger on the B, these, these notes right here. And it will sound like this from the second beat of this, the sixth measure. It sounds like this, D with your thumb, G with your third finger, A with your fourth finger, and B with your fifth finger. And then you'll just walk down, continuing in measure seven, fourth finger on A, third finger on G, second finger on F sharp, thumb on E, and then your fourth finger will leap over. Leap is kind of an exaggerated term. It'll just move, shift over your thumb and play the D, and then the C with your third finger and the B with your second finger. So that will all sound like this, starting on measure five with your second finger on the B. It'll be like this, very slowly. Okay, now let's shift ahead and we're going to look at measure 21 that's on the second page of the piece. It's kind of the fourth measure in and this is another kind of scalar uh, phrase, a phrase based on a, um, a scale here. So we're going to start on the D with our thumb and play D, E, F sharp, but then the thumb is going to go under the third finger and play the G. So it will be like this. One, two, three, one. And then you're going to move your second finger over into position on the A for the first beat of measure 22. And incidentally, the measure numbers are above the treble clef sign. 
at the beginning of each system. A system is a um, the, the grand staff, one line of the grand staff of music. So if you look above the, the treble clef sign at the far left of each system, you'll see a number. In this case, you'll see 22. That signifies measure 22. So let's go back one measure to measure 21 and walk through this for a measure or two beyond measure 21. And we're thinking about this thumb under or finger over technique. So here we go. So that's the whole phrase with the slight position changes and um, this thumb under finger over technique. And then uh, lastly, we'll just look at the uh, measure 25 and practice that position change. You're going to be going from a G and lifting up and going to a D. Like that. So you, you'll just, you want to practice that movement and the movement should be a kind of um, arch shape movement rather than a, a movement where you're going straight across you're going to want to kind of create a little bit of a curvature in the hand so that uh, the, 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 the muscles in the hand and the nerves in the arms remember that motion better than a straight across lateral motion so you want to have this kind of movement where you're you're creating a kind of uh, arch or rainbow type of shape that that will hold you in good stead so practice going from g and then slowly going to the d with your thumb and then add the remaining notes Thanks so much, and we will see you in the next video.